Thank you for listening and welcome to the live podcast. A proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Scott Summit sticks around for the second show and we talk music with Tyler Carson. We hear a couple of great tunes live in the studio. If you enjoy the show, like and follow The Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. A brutal presence overwhelms me. A brutal presence. It's almost, right. almost. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, playing a little bit of Mr. Wiggly's Exploration Launch from, uh, uh, yeah, what was the, what was the song title? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson Chicken. A little bit of a uh, li- little bit of Dayton's number one space, space funk, funk band for you right there. Because if you can't <laughs> if you can't do space funk in Dayton, get the hell out. Yep, get the funk out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh wow. Yep. He knows all the tricks of getting around the exactly, FCC. That's exactly. great. Well, no, the funk. Quite the literally. funk. The funk. That's, that's you, true. You ever seen the Mighty Boosh? Yes. I got the funk. You got the funk. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh i, I want to give a shout out real quick i've been i play world of warcraft because i'm a big nerd and i know i'm which i should be too old for these kind of things but i've been trying to get back into it because i kind of get into it for a while and get get out of it i've been watching videos on youtube just yeah. when i'm not able to play just for fun and there's there's this uh, a, a youtube channel out there called pixel cat that sounds really You've familiar because i worked a lot of time on youtube Oh, they, they, have you ever played Warcraft? I've seen it played. I mean, well, the there, last there thing some... that I even admit to playing was like Dungeons and Dragons, like years and years ago. Oh, well then you'd love Warcraft. I, yeah, I you'd love World of Warcraft. I what? ended, <laughs> I ended my D and D career as like a 13th level cleric. See, you I know. never made it in D and D because I, I played one time. I was invited to play uh, Dungeons and Dragons one time when I was in high school because my cousin, my cousin had a bunch of friends that played this, and mm-hmm. I was kind. I was kind of into reading that type of literature and stuff. But he, as far as the the, the fantasy and sci fi, right. I kind of read like like the Pierce Anthony's and stuff like that back in the day. <clears throat> and so he thought I'd be really into this. Well, I'm also a, a, a kind of a smart aleck. No, so, really? Yeah, can you believe that? Yeah, so really. he brings me into this <laughs> group of guys that are dead serious in full costume, have their weapons uh. out. Brings me into the midst of these guys. And I can't stop laughing because they are so serious. I into am this stuff. right there with you, brother. It's great to be passionate about what you do. <laughs> sometimes you got to cross the line. Yeah, yeah, but every now and then you got to yeah. say, "Hey, it's just a game." And little did you know, and, you were playing the analog version of oh, World of Warcraft. I exactly. Right. That's pretty much what it was. I, I lasted probably <clears throat> forty-five minutes, and they were so mad at me. <laughs> That I thought I was going to catch one of their swords upside the head at any moment. You walk in with a bunch of people carrying actual weapons. Exactly. I mean, there were some of them. They had. I would certainly hit you with this broadsword right now, but I paid three hundred dollars. Right. (laughs) Right. And and, oh, they actually they not only asked me to leave, they never let my cousin play again because he invited me. So my cousin was now furious with me because he was no longer allowed to play in his little D and D guild. Really. But anyway, that's kind of what I like about the Pixel Cat videos, because he, he's got a friend, uh, Nickel for Your Thoughts, is also, she has a, another YouTube channel, that where they both, what they do is they go on there and they capture the, the uh, video. The game in the middle the of game, it. Yeah, the gameplay video, and what they do is they troll the serious role play guys. Oh, okay. I mean, they'll so get in the middle of it, there. and it, I mean, that, it just cracks me up, because, I mean, they're just... They get these people so mad because they're not taking it seriously. And the next thing you know, one of them's, you know, one of them's a woman. Next thing you know, they t- pull all their clothes off and start dancing for this guy that's trying to be yeah. all serious. And, you know, just 
absolute ridiculous stuff. So I just want to give Pixel. them a shout out. They, I they could been, get into that. I have been I having get so much that. fun watching them. And some of the stuff they say, of course, I can't. Most but, of it is not, we're not radio right, safe. Right. <laughs> but if you get a chance, whether you play Warcraft or not, they crack me up. They but, just, okay. What are your, what movies. do you feel about like those channels that, that, like we've got like 800 videos on my channel of just me playing world of warcraft i'm like i don't give right. a crap that's yeah that that's that's not, like but, a, but that's, if it's somebody doing something entertaining yeah exactly if, if you've got a hick elephant you know, into it that's pretty cool i wouldn't watch cool. somebody doing the serious role play but there's but like I how many thousands of channels trolling so, them yeah that <laughs> that i would totally funny. get into <laughs> you know it's like again good that you're passionate reel it back to yeah, yeah. just a little bit yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, In yeah, case you yeah, didn't see it, you just did a little yeah. bit of a fish. Yeah, well, well it's, it's good to have visuals like that. Exactly. On radio, yeah. It, you know. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if you could see him, he looks like he's got. He looks like like the Gordon's fisherman without yeah. the yeah, rain slicker. Like, yeah, I'm the like only one with the, the without a beard. Yeah. How's yeah. you know in this in this uh, conversation? It's, I feel like that. Okay, you know, like that Sesame Street, which one of these things is not like the. Is there is there a little bit of beard envy? I'm hearing. I, I would be, totally, yeah. No, you, I, I, you I could keep, grow one. I, I could, could, you know, you just. I've never was, been gassed. You like to be more respectable. I well for the for the work I do for the yeah. for the, some of this but I, if somebody wants me to grow a beard for a movie role I'd be more than happy. Yeah, it might take me six months. I can get a really good thick stubble in four days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but but I I, I don't have the majestic. Yeah, it, it, that it, you guys it, yeah, do. it takes a while to because uh, I'm still working on. Do you use beard oils? occasionally 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 i do i do use conditioner a couple times a week yeah well you, you know you, you gotta, you gotta keep t- it luscious. You got, yeah you, you don't want <laughs> yeah, he's using I, he's using that product that his wife buys at bloodbath and beyond to you know yeah. i'm a pure pantene pro oh pantene oh, okay. pro kind of guy i kind of thought you were herbal essence herbal <laughs> es- yeah you know i thought I, that's a little out of my price range I, I, true, i'm old enough true, to think i would have thought you were a breck girl a breck girl <laughs> Look that up on the Google kids. The Google. But, you know you're getting old when you put an article in front of things. Yeah. You kids use the, the Facebook Google, or yeah, the, the Google. The Facebook, yeah. yeah. <laughs> use it up on the, the YouTube. But I, the I, I, used, I used to think that using beard oils kind of defeated the purpose of having a beard because the beard is very masculine. Right. Hair and products are not masculine. And even if you're using a beard oil, that's a that's hair product. technically a hair product. I found a way around it. Lay it on me. Absolutely. <laughs> Sinful beard oils, S-Y-N-F-U-L, are, are their fantastic product. I use them. They, they have they have a nice aroma to them. I don't know if you could smell that little Well, the longer it gets, you get, the, no. you get yeah. the little scragglies and the flyaways. And yeah, it's like, so that sometimes you use the beard butter to smooth those down. So I, I definitely do that. But if you're going to use product in your beard and you still want to get your man points, I actually pick up my Sinful beard oils. At uh, Angler's Bait and Tackle Amen. in Englewood, Ohio. If you can pick up your hair product um, at the same place that you can test fire a compound bow and renew your fishing license, you don't lose right. any man you points. Know, all you, need, you know, all you need is like, you know, a web cafe and a jarm school. You know? yeah. and you, you've got it made. <laughs> This guy, he's like, he's like a dive, he's a divest, diversion, you know, he's divested his interests. He's a, he has multi- a very diverse man portfolio. Exactly. But this whole yes, beard yes. thing, like, that's like, that's like a whole nother, you should like do a beard podcast. That, I should. Just you know. talking about beards and about, you know, I'll, so I'll see if we'll I can get rack the up guys the listeners. on board, you know. There you go. Yeah. We, How about a little sponsorship really there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just go down there and talk to him on your record her, and there you go. Yeah, there you go. I, I'll, I'll have to do that. I'll have to corner one of them in the uh, in the bait. Just time to time to the chair like you've done us. So. Yes, yeah. Well, bait you, beards right. and can we put in some brews there? I'll be in. Bait, there you go. And bait beers and brews. As long as there's some kind of booze, that's okay. Yeah, and yeah. booze. You can just yeah. call yeah. Bait, bait beers and bait ba- <laughs> bait beers, beers and booze. And- Boobs, actually, Boobs. would be ah. even better. <laughs> oh, four bees. Let's like yeah. we're really gonna get the alliteration yeah. going on there. Yeah, we'll boob just, baits, yeah. beards, and byproducts. I, I, I don't yeah, know something. I don't know. It's it, it gets to be a tongue twister. I know. Then you can say, <laughs> "Listen to the five B podcast." Yeah. You know, <laughs> and we're gonna add another B. Used to be the six B next yeah. week. Yeah, we'll just be whatever. <laughs> B, be whatever, whatever. Yeah. there you I'd like go to add a B to the list all right there you go yeah. can i buy a valve nope we all we have <laughs> are bees. bees all we have are bees <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> tyler carson yes. musician musician you brought your guitar what what kind of music you play uh i always joke I, we'll, we'll talk about you for a we'll little talk bit. about me yeah. i i really am good at that actually so awesome um so i perform under the name saint mary saint michael and uh i i, I write depressing folk music 
So, uh, sweet. You know, that's. <laughs> We need a little bit more of that, you know? Yeah. So, well, so ever, ever since the passing of Leonard Cohen, mm. we yes. have needed we more need, good, need another, good folk really, music. Cause that, Len, are, are you a Leonard Cohen fan? Oh, of course. you got to be. You know, I was, Nobody better. It was about Absolutely. college when I discovered the the songwriters and the, the great folk right. classics. I obviously went through a Bob Dylan phase. Oh, saw, hey. him, yeah. saw him live, <laughs> and that was the worst concert I've ever been to. Really? You just can't understand a word the guy said. Well, yeah, you go, yeah. Bob Dylan. Hey, and you had to wait. You know, you had to wait for the uh, the band was killer. But it's like, what song is he doing? Oh, like a Rolling Stone. Okay, great. I have a reference point now. But yeah, now, uh, I, now I can sing along, and people near me will understand exactly. The <laughs> but no, then I got into. I don't know if you're familiar with the band, the Decemberists. Um, I've heard of them. Yes. Colin Malloy being one of my favorite songwriters right. in the world. Um, I discovered that indie folk rock kind of feel and sort said, of the Ameri- Americana, Americana folk, yeah, like Avid so, Brothers. Sort of. Oh, huge into them. Um, you know, and then obviously, like I said, I got the Decemberists. Big into Iron and Wine. Now, have you listened uh, to Trampled by Turtles? Oh yes. Oh yeah. I saw them in Columbus. That was like one of the life. best yeah. freaking concerts I've been. They just lose. Don't their even minds. have a drummer, but everybody was jumping up and down. That place was popping. So uh, yeah, I found that and. Actually, it's irony. I was in a back in college. I was in a folk rap band. Folk rap. Folk rap. It wow, was, I, that was going to genres yeah. you know, usually see together. Right? Oh yeah, and we did yeah. it. It was me and a me and a roommate, and uh, we were called Broken Folk, and I was real into that. And then he's actually a making rounds as a pretty big hip hop artist now, he's under the name No Big Dill. He's doing it in Nashville. He's He's pretty big deal now. So that's, that's no cool. big that deal. Awesome. No big deal. All one word. And I, uh, <laughs> no, he's doing great. Can, can, <clears throat> can I have an example of folk rap? I mean, an example a, of yeah. folk rap. <laughs> I mean, not to put you on the spot, but you it's, know, it's not. A, it's not a genre. See, I've really I wasn't heard the rapper. Up. We tried that at first. Oh, okay. And uh, Dylan uh, played banjo, and uh, was always a big hit. And then we both realized, okay, he he said, you know, you're good at the music stuff so folk rap with a banjo oh yeah we did the whole nine yards wow oh, you and, get a great uh, banjo player that's half the battle yeah. and then uh <laughs> yeah. well you know that was the thing he goes i'm really not good at the, the music and and i went well i'm not you're really saying good well, at the rap so, about the yeah. music so, and uh, the rap. <laughs> yep, the music. there you go so we decided he could handle rapping and i'll be the singer and the musician and then we'll oh, okay. break it through and then we did that and it was i mean take well, I was going to say the closest you get is something like, I don't know if you know, you're familiar with the band Listener. They do. It's more no. like spoken word. But um, yeah, we did the mandolins and banjos and all that. And he would rap and I'd sing and had a good time with it. Broken Folk. I think we're somewhere on the on the Internet. Are you nowadays. on the Internet? Oh, Out there on, on the, the, on the, the Internet. Inter- we're on the, the YouTubes. YouTubes. Yeah. 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 Just look um, us up on the Google. Yeah, on the Google. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, when I moved up here, so I've been up to Cincinnati a few years now and Decided I was going to keep writing some tunes. You know, you move up, you don't know anyone. So what did I do? I, I went to... I'm going to go sitting in the coffee shop. all the way here from Cincinnati? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that whole Man. hour, it's yeah. about, give or take. You know. Well, I, I hope you're Boy, not That's dedication. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. I only took 20 minutes to drive across yeah. town. So, <laughs> obviously, I'm like, meh. Yeah, I, li- I live about 20 minutes from here, and I'm not even impressed when oh. I come. <laughs> Is it worth it now? I'm just going to well, you know, you, in, in Tennessee, <laughs> you're used, in Tennessee, I'm used to driving 45 minutes to get anywhere. So. Well, yeah, just to pick up a radio station. Yeah, exactly, right. I got no bars. Well, I'm yeah, just going back into go back into the trading post in yeah. town. And, <laughs> yep. So, uh, so yeah. Yep. That's Can what we I pick do. up the Google here? <laughs> I got to go to the internet cafe. What are you talking yeah. about at Google? Yeah. You what are you, you, you We don't like your yeah. kind. Yeah, Get we, out of here, boy. <laughs> we don't take kindly to Googlers. <laughs> you can you you want to be Googling, you can go Google somewhere else. Yep, there you go. But yeah, so <laughs> you go there you Google go. up north with the rest go of them. Go up with them Googlers. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> back to you, Tyler. <laughs> well, yeah, so I write. I started writing and... Uh, Got real into all that singer songwriter y, like I said, depressing folk. I always have to joke. So, some of my best work, you know, I, I'd write a song and my wife would come, What'd you do? I wrote a song. Okay, what's, well, I, I need you to know it's, it's not about you. I'm not sad. So, I just, <laughs> I just write sad music. And, right. uh, you know, you know how that goes. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you, so. you always have to reassure them it's not about them. Right. Exactly. I, uh, Even when, if it's when 100% I, when I perform, exactly <laughs> about them. When I you perform stand-up, <laughs> yeah. I always have to tell her that. And she'd never believe I'm it. I'm going to do a joke about a wife, and it's yeah. not about yes, you. Yes, yes. It's, I'm it's a not about you. I mean, I know I'm talking about things that you've done. But it's this because is not about you know, you. wife is just a noun. It could apply to yeah, anyone. Right. Exactly. exactly. You know, I didn't my, say my wife. Yeah. yeah. You, you always say the wife. The that wife. Way you don't have to. <laughs> the uh, wife he found on the Google. On the yes, Google. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but on the internet. I'm at, at, at the dating site. On the on at, the, the, the match. The, ma- the, the match. The match. The match. Com. Com. The match. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> let's let's quit with that. Listen to yeah, the yeah. music. The yeah. music. Let's, let's, so let's, you want me? I can play a. I can play a little tune for you. If you yeah. want to get yeah, it? Yeah, give me a second. We'll we'll try to because just in case you need some you need some amplification on your guitar. <laughs> we have a second microphone. Oh, I can do. I'm, I'm all mic'd up here. Yeah, you want you want to roll it? Roll on over. Yeah, oh, this one goes. We'll, uh, yeah, there you go. You can get them together there, and I'll check the levels on everything. And, and I'm sure this is exciting radio. Look, for them, right? I've been in enough studios to know you should put that microphone near the little hole. Near the little <laughs> hole. The resonator. Is that nice and? I, I, yeah. Is that I think good that's for you? Good. I think that's good. So this is all right. Play a song. I was listening to a lot of Chris Stapleton, and I, I noticed all of his songs reference whiskey somewhere. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of whiskey. So I said, I, I might like to write me a song about whiskey. So I did it. It's called Neat. I almost had it all. And I lost everything. All that's left to me is my name. But I don't want your pity The only thing I need Is to drown my sorrows and pain So bartender, you ask me What I'd like to drink Well, it's been a long day And I can hardly think My life is such a mess So maybe what I need Is to take my wit the last one that we'd pull And then we'd all go clean But then I saw them gun him down Don't ask me what I mean No, don't say anything Just pour me enough around So bartender you ask me about my drink of choice Well I don't want anything to water down my poison Now my life is such a mess So if you're asking me Well I'll take my whiskey and me Maybe it's my fault Maybe I brought it on myself Now this glass is my only friend I'm drinking till I'm numb And I still hurt like hell Just keep pouring until I say when Oh, bartender, you asked me What I'd like to drink Well, it's been a long day I can hardly think My life is such a mess So if you're asking me Well, I'll take my whiskey and me So I'll take my whiskey and me Oh yeah, I'll take my whiskey and me Here's this week's Comedy Rundown, brought to you by the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in Dayton's historic Oregon district. Call 224-JOKE or go to Wiley'sComedy.com for all the best in Dayton comedy. 
Thursday and Sunday, February 8th and February 11th, Ramon Garcia is at the Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street at the Green. Friday and Saturday, February 9th and 10th, Ricky Smiley is at the Dayton Funny Bone. Also on Friday and Saturday, February 9th and 10th, Terry McNeely is at Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. And Sunday, February 11th, Wiley Sunday Comics is back at Wiley's Comedy Club. That show starts at 8 p.m. That is it. I do want to mention we have a couple of great shows coming up at Wiley's. February 15th, we have the Valentine's Date for a Calls comedy show and networking event. And I'm excited for the March 15th first ever show, The Life Radio Show Presents, with local favorite Adrian Cosby. As always, check out Wiley'sComedy.com and DaytonFunnyBone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows. We need a train Where can we find your music? Do you have... Uh, so, yeah, I'm everywhere. YouTube, everywhere. Uh, iTunes, Spotify. Like I said, it's under St. Mary, comma, St. Michael. And uh, hopefully, I'm working on a new one. It's all based on the uh, album 1984, you know, comedy show. So I got to talk about about a depressing book as you can get. And uh, I'm actually working on some licensing issues right now, waiting on confirmation for permission and all that other stuff. But that being said... So Orwell's 1984. Orwell's yeah. 1984. Not uh, that, that was depressing. I thought that was a comedy. No. <laughs> yeah, well, it is because we're uh, I, living it well, right now. Yeah, right. Because we're in the midst. It's, of it. Exactly. It's funny. Na- yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. funny or yeah, ironic? It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's more ironic. Than yeah, really. Thank you, Elenas. Yeah. So, no, that that that's actually one of my favorites. I, re- I read, read that not too long ago. I read it every good. year because yeah. you know I just I need more joy in my life. So because yeah. that book is double plus good. Double yeah. plus good. I actually get. I got it. Quoted and tatted up on my arm. So oh, that is double blood. <laughs> there you go. There you no. go. Double, uh, that was not a good text. Mm. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm all into that. And uh, like I said, St. Mary, St. Michael, you can find me everywhere. Cool. Two cool. of the best saints you could name yourself after. Yeah, there you go. Well, so the joke is, I got a, I got a friend of mine. Her name is Mary Michael, and you, ha- it's Mary Michael, not Mary. And so you, she's pretty uh, adamant cool. about it, right? And I'm all about, yeah, okay, Mary Michael. And we were joking. So is Michael her middle name? Or Michael her is her middle name. Mary Michael Jet is her is her name, and she. Uh, well, I guess, I guess you has to put them together because if it if you just said her middle name was Michael, right, that could be kind of right. a little, so, little different. So yeah, I could see that. So Mary she uh, she uh, is always adamant. You know, you call her Mary Michael, and uh, one day we were joking. I said, uh, if you get sainted. Which which name do you saint? Is right. it Saint Mary or Saint Michael? And then she was like, "That could be an indie band name." And I went, "Deal, I got it." Yeah. Dibs. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I'm gonna tattoo that on my arm right, right now. Right, Saint Don't Mary, yeah. Saint yeah. Michael. Yep. There Once you go. Once it's tattooed on my arm, that's mine. <laughs> so I actually had the name before I'd even recorded anything, and I went, "I'm gonna I'm gonna do it." Now I gotta have some songs. Oh yeah, You'd I got a 1984. 1984 I'm all right? about it. Let's keep it. I going. did not know there were 1984 T-shirts. There's a couple. This was... Or know. maybe I knew it, but somebody yeah. you know, corrected that knowledge. And right, exactly. It's you the, have the to... thought police got exactly. to me. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Again, double plus on good. <laughs> double. That's the yeah, one, that's that's the one a... reference he's going to be able to make. So yeah. he's got to make it... What'd you think about the book? Double plus good. It was good. double yeah. plus good. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's well. At least you know the right speak. Uh, yeah, right. that's all exactly. we need is to make. Sure. <laughs> and now news speak. Yep, yeah. yeah, that that yeah. That's probably the only time that there's been anything right spoken on this. So, right spoken. Yeah. Hey, well, unless it's with a W, because mm. this is right state radio. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Right speak radio. I see how you <laughs> right I see, speak radio. I love how you work that silent W into the conversation. Yeah, that was well, that yeah, was you clever. always got to try to do that. That was clever. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, the, the silent W's got to always be part of the conversation. Always. Yeah, because what's more embarrassing than saying, I graduated from Wall Rights Day. Yeah, Wall Rights Day. Wall Rights Day. Well, well, right. Right. Yeah. And he starts sounding like Jimmy on South Park. It's like, it's well, just that, wrong. Well, that's the thing. We're at WSU and the radio station's mm-hmm. WWSU, so it already sounds like we're study, stuttering. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 there's been much worse over this radio station. Yes. Or radio show. I don't want I don't want to implicate the whole station as being this bad. Not at all. <laughs> so what was your inspiration for that song? Was that just like 
did that because we were talking about creativity and things that sure things um, that inspire us. So where did where did that kind of come from? You know, that one in particular. Like I said, I was um, I, coming out of Nashville. You'd think I really love country music. I really don't. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it at all. But like I got real country. into the old yeah. outlaw country. I was yeah. real right. into that. And I, that was you know, good and, stuff. And when Chris Stapleton put his solo album out, you know, that was kind of almost like a resurgence of some of that, you know, older, what I would consider authentic even, country music. And I was enthralled by him as a, as a songwriter. Um, and so that started that. And then I started listening to some of the older stuff. And, you know, as a storyteller, I, I like the idea that the song is kind of about some sort of outlaw right? and some sort of group of other outlaws. And they were going to take one last big haul before saying like, we're done after this. We're going to go clean and we're going to not, but we got one more. And then it went wrong. Someone ended up dying and uh, he decides, well, my life's pretty much ruined and I'm going to go. What was the next step at that point? If you're an ally, you go to the bar and right. Order some whiskey. And I really liked the idea, the play on words of his life is so messy, so he'll take his whiskey neat, and mm. uh, which is how I prefer prefer my whiskey. And so I went, That's a there's a song there. And it came pretty easy when you when you listen to a bunch of outlaw country. It's like, okay, I'm, the idea yeah. is ready to be vomited Yeah, out, but then so. finding your story or your take on, you know, everybody can write a whiskey song. Right. Funny and making that your song. Right. I didn't want to just be like, I'm going to drink whiskey because it's so good. Yeah. But I'm ding ding. You know, I didn't want to do or, that. Like so. whiskey for my men. Yeah. You know, <laughs> well, that's what's enthralled me about yeah. Colin Malloy is mm. he's a songwriter and he tells stories. I love the idea of the old bards, right? They travel right. through town and pay them and they just sing stories. It doesn't have to be about them. It's just right. an interesting story. And so I... know the traveling troubadours. Right, exactly. Like, ooh, la, 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 Here we go. There right. you go. There were Roger There was a man, he slayed a dragon. Right. You know? uh, but I got, and all the villagers rejoice. <laughs> right. Well, I think that's an yeah. interesting story. Yeah. Or Brave Sir... Yeah. The tale of Brave Sir Robin. Brave Sir... <laughs> brave, Sir Robin brave, ran brave, away. Brave Sir Robin. Bravely ran away, away. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Um, so I try to, you know, I like putting myself into songs too, but I think pop music's become a little too, it's, I, it's a little, you, a little manufactured. Me, me. Right. You know. And so I like the idea of telling stories that weren't about me because right. that's more engaging. You're listening to an artist and, oh, he's telling a story. In fact, what really spurred this idea of telling other people's stories is another one of my favorite songwriters is a guy named Ben Cooper, but he performs under the band Radical Face. Um, and he did a Family Tree trilogy, um, which ended up being four albums. It was the Family Tree Roots, Leaves, and Branches, and then a bunch of songs that originally didn't make a cut. Um, and he put that out as a, a fourth album. I don't know if I can say certain words. Uh, named after a, a fatherless child. There we go. I got to be careful about my language here, right? Um, <laughs> I think that one's okay. All right. Well, it's called The Bastards yeah, there. Yeah. Because um, you're referencing something, you know. Cool. I'm all good. And again, FCC it's a noun that could apply to anything. Exactly. Right, right, right. Um, but he did. It was four <laughs> albums telling the story of how one man's decision led to consequences for the whole generation of people. And again, that's another one I like so much. I got a tattoo inspired oh, by that's it. That's a so. sweet one. Yeah. My tree, all the colors are nice. The color of the album. Yeah, you're not you're not able to see this on the radio, but it's a really cool tree. <laughs> um, let, let's describe okay. it to you. There's like this. Yeah, there's like a, a root tree. system there's that goes out, yeah. and this tree branches come out. And there's like a lot of little tiny yeah. leaves in there. Yeah, kind of like a tree. Yeah, yeah. like a tree. <laughs> but uh, but, but I, it's not a tree. Right? That is the most moving work of art yeah, I've ever cool. experienced. Because um, mm. and I even spent way too much money on a box set vinyl that came with the lyrics and the story behind the lyrics and. And it was just so interesting to me. I saw him playing. He goes, this next song's a, you know, about a girl who, over the course of her life, realized she could communicate with animals. And that wasn't as great of a power as you think it'd be. Because, And then here's the story. And so that's very cool. I took that. I My my big song that I'm really a fan of, it's really slow. So, uh, But it's uh, called Blue 52. And it's I don't know if you're familiar with the Blue 52 whale. Yes. Um, he, uh, I couldn't say like yes. It's it's you know, I it's couldn't a, tell you all about it. Well, I can because well, I'm a nerd. Good. <laughs> it's uh, the science is no. They're tracking a whale. It's called the blue fifty two whale, and they call it that because it's a blue whale um, that calls out at fifty two hertz. Oh, okay. Which 
is a low A flat if you want to get nerdy and musical about it. Oh, get nerdy. Uh, but the problem with the Blue 52 whale is whales can't hear that frequency. So it would be like blowing a dog whistle for us. Like, I don't, what are you doing? All right. And so, therefore, you can't communicate with whales. And I went, that's really sad. So the whale can't communicate. Whale can't whales communicate can't with other whales. Well, he, the, the other whales can't hear him. Oh, wow. Does that make sense? So I went, that's, that's sad. Song. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I wrote it. I wanted to write it, that song, and obviously you can't get too cheesy about there was a whale and right. he was lonely. That's a children's yeah. book, not a yeah, depressing exactly. folk right. song. So I took it and mutated it into its own thing, but it was I wanted to write that story from a human perspective. And people are like, what's that story about? Well, it's about a whale. What? Well, it's it's about human humans, you know, maybe not being able – feeling like you can't communicate. But and then it's like, well, is that about you? Maybe at some yeah, point it was, you know, lonely, if I were lonely yeah. and, you know. Well, there's a little bit of you in there. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I try to take my inspiration from that kind of side of things and, yeah. Could you sing it? Yeah. I could do a song about my, I could do my Blue 52 song. Sure, sure. That, uh, everybody else, that's, that's called a segue. Yeah. That's yeah. a segue. Yeah. That's a go. great segue. Right. <laughs> Speaking you know, of whales. I think, I think I have wrote more notes on this uh, show about different things I have to check out now than I have in any show in a long <laughs> hey, time. Hey, that's great. You know, <laughs> you know it's great I'm when you do something and, and you learn something, <laughs> yeah. too. You know? Yeah, it's weird. In a college? <laughs> we can't have that. I don't know. <laughs> we're, not about, we're not about learning. Yeah. <laughs> These higher halls. This ain't of, one of them learnings. Schools. One of them learnings. Schools. <laughs> My sister learned how to walk with a big old heavy encyclopedia on her head at one of them learning schools. Yeah. She's about three foot tall now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this song is aptly named Blue 52. And uh, just to get more, because I like my nerdiness, I wrote it in A flat because, you know, it's got to be right at that point. Right. So... This is actually, so I have one, my one album currently that is on Spotify and iTunes and all that takes its name from this. It's a sea of empty faces is what, what it's called. And this is the first track on that. Standing in the middle of yet another crowd Feel my eyes get heavy and all I want is sleep I'm looking on a sea of empty faces filled with hopes and fears and Table shifting round louder than I care Are you there? Can you hear me? Are you there at all? along the current to scream my silent question No one seems to notice and I just want to feel The fingerprints of warm hands knowing that you hear me You listen to my story help me carry on Are you there? Can you hear me? 
Are you there at all? Are you there? Can you hear me? Are you there at all? I just want to sleep I just want to feel I just need to know Are you there? Can you hear me? Are you there at all? Are you there? Can you hear me? Are you there at all? All right. Good stuff. Thank you for another one. Now I'm all depressed. I'm Great. Like, <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah. yeah Actually, that, one no, of the that's... greatest compliments I've got. I was like, man, your stuff's really great. This makes me feel sad. Yeah. Like, well, that's it. That's, that's the feeling. The point, I right? didn't yeah. realize that whales were so lonely. Right. Yeah. Wow. No, that was that was cool. So. And that's uh, having the backstory to that's really mm-hmm. cool yeah. too. Because. Yeah. I mean, how often do you not have the backstory to a song or a piece of art or a film or something You're like what? What inspired? What's about it? Right? Well, yeah. you know, I I love the multi. Levels the layers of, of meaning. And, yeah. You know, what's it all mean? You know, and it's funny, like, uh, you know, so I grew up. I, I grew up Southern Baptist, you know, was worship pastor. Actually, that's what moved me up here originally was to help start a church. And Oh, to help start a church. Mm-hmm. Called them church planters. So I was a worship pastor for a church plant. And uh, we, uh, but I really hate Christian music. Like it just always wasn't <laughs> great, right? Yeah. But as I started learning about all these artists that I was really into, a, a lot of them were christian musicians they just didn't want to write christian music and that right. you know but if you listen to the lyrics you're like i guess i could interpret it that way but i always hated the idea that if i wrote a christian song i've just like alienated a huge percentage of people that may want to listen you to really talk to a specific smaller right, right. Okay. which isn't wrong that's not no, say that no, shouldn't no. exist no. but i wanted to speak to the human condition not just a christian right. condition right. so right. i you know i decided i didn't want to write christian music some of my songs can be interpreted, i.e. I. that one, you know, originally was are you, the idea being the whale, but the metaphor of, you know, thinking there's God out there, but not really knowing and calling out and no one answering because you don't really know what to listen for. Right. But that's cool. But also, how many times do people feel alone in the crowd and, you know, they're in the middle? I actually co-wrote that song with a buddy uh, named Michael Ronstadt. He's also a good Cincinnati songwriter. and. He's like, I, I keep, when I hear this music, I imagine being in like a food court of a mall, you know, as crowded as, you know, mm. you're not yeah. alone, but. Right. But you, but you're, you're you, very alone. You're, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was obviously with the, the first verse of that being, you know, looking on a sea of empty faces filled with hopes and fears, right? You see it, but you can't connect to it. Um, and I said, now that's something that someone might want to listen to. Which is why I like sad music. I always say, happy music. When you're happy, you don't care what anyone else is doing. You're happy. Life's right. great. Yeah, you you don't need to worry about it. When you're sad, yeah. you want someone else to. You want to know someone knows what you're going through. Misery loves company. That's yeah, where, <laughs> that's right. That's where, that's where we get that. And so we want to. You know, we don't want to feel so alone. Right. So I feel like at some point, if someone hears that song, that's what I'm thinking. Ah. Oh, not the only one, right? Right, so, but then like as a musician or an actor or a filmmaker or any kind of an artist, sure. you're, you're, you want to put something out there that somebody was like, oh, they get that. I get that you're, that you're speaking for right. somebody well, on I, some level. As, you know, they comedian, can, uh, you know, yeah, writer, right. any sort of 
creative field, right. I feel like the highest compliment you can get isn't, oh, I'm going to give you a bunch of money, but it's, I needed to hear that. You know, right. that was, oh, you know, comedy is one of those things too. I feel like, you know, as you probably know, a lot of the comics are not as happy as they are on stage, which is what exactly. fuels their comedy. Yeah. I mean, that's, where do you get all this, oh man, I, relatable, mm-hmm. I, feel, I totally feel that. Well, you're at one point, we're in a dark place and right. how do you cope with that? Through humor. Well, I cope with the darkness through music. Yeah, that, there are a lot of people that don't understand how, I mean, you see a comic on stage and, oh, he's funny, must be like, right, it's like, no, so. we didn't. No, he was just sleeping <laughs> in a park bench. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, but, but, exactly. But it's, it's well, interesting I, how I, the I artists. I know some that, that do. Yeah. That pretty much, I right. mean, or at least have what, very what But recently. artists seem to always like really pull out of the darkest realms yeah. of whatever well, they're going through. To, the to artists really that stand the test of time. Work. Right? Why was Leonard? Why do we still talk about Leonard Cohen? Because well, he's a badass. That's why. Awesome. Right. Yeah. But why do we like his music? Well, it was not just I wrote a pop song to make some money. Right. Mm-hmm. It was something meaningful. Right. You know, we. St- well, have you have you listened to his, his last album? I haven't yet. Oh, you I've want, got my you list. You want it darker? Of, oh man! So at it, he turns it up to the, eleven. At the at you the know. time it, that he comes up with this in his life, I mean, if you listen to the lyrics, especially knowing that a few months after it released, he passed. Right. There is, I mean, it, it's it's surreal. I mean, just listening to it, it it's like the, he knew. It's like he knew. He, well, that, David that, Bowie did the so same crazy. thing a year right. before. Yeah. You know, yeah. With another incredible. These are two. These are two killer, uh, creative. Well, they never who just got went out yes. on their own terms, and they never, yeah. they yeah. never, you never got tired of it. Not right? at all. It wasn't. No. Oh, right. it's your eighth album. Great, you just won't shut up and. Oh, you great, know. another one. Yeah. You know, great. Yeah. I, I have a six disc changer in my car, and right now five of those discs are Leonard Cohen. Right. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> just been, well, just to capture. I mean, and one of them, of course, is you want it darker. That yeah. right. that is such. And the sixth a, one is the Debbie amazing. Gibson record, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. But. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's interesting, you know, we talk yeah, about, it's right. cheesy to kind know? of talk about uh, Hallelujah as his big hit, but obviously, uh, why do people... I'm who, sorry, that is the best secular hymn ever, ever right? written. Yes. And, and what's and funny... the funny thing is, it's, to me, that sounds like a song about uh, sex. It it was, have, lot, have, have you read you the book, whatever, Song of Solomon? Of have the, you read uh, the, that part of the Bible? That whole book is about, you yeah. know, being in love with your wife and more right. than just the viewing sense and it's pretty yeah. explicit but, uh, <laughs> yeah. but you're right well what's funny is of all the the hymns you know growing up that song in my opinion actually perfectly because i never saw that as a hymn it's just not because of the subject right. <laughs> well no of course of course but i i've heard it played at religious gatherings and in churches it's like hey uh, have you uh, okay the lyrics? <laughs> you're right you, you bet i want to check that out again but, yeah uh, you know, I was but, but, I was like to joke that the word hallelujah is used so poorly nowadays. If you, right. you break it down to the original translation, it basically translates to praise Yahweh or praise God. Right. And if you look through like scripture, it's, most of the times it's used is in times of extreme sadness. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna praise, right? And I was like, right. that song perfectly capsule captures this. I'm terribly broken mm-hmm. and i'm mm-hmm. but i'm still trying to it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah i mean i think that's one right. of the most haunting lyrics right there i've ever heard anywhere which is why you you'll hear it a million covers of that song uh, my favorite is like jeff, I mean, aside from the original it's like jeff buckley oh jeff buckley his voice really captures good that. lord that one just knocks me back on my heels every so, time I hear it. right it's which just, and i love that i mean that's again why i like writing the songs that i write and it's it's cathartic for me. I always well, say I'm, you, you definitely have to listen to his last album. I'll, that, yeah. That'll be added. That is, I'll stream it. On we'll my be way meeting. Home. We'll be meeting yeah. in Don's car in about fifteen yes. minutes. Yeah, come on so, out. Yeah. It's, it's number three on the change. Number right three. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ed, when, as soon the first time I listened to that because I think as soon as it released, I went ahead and I, I think I ordered it online. Right. Pre-ordered it and I got it like the day before it actually released. Right. And. It, it blew me away listening hmm. to that, and then I, I was, uh, I, when when a celebrity and artist when when they pass, I, it doesn't really affect me a whole lot. That one actually hurt. That one, that one. Sure. But having listened to that, it's like that. I I think that's why is I just felt that much of a connection. Right. Well, I think you know, <laughs> all of the we've had several big musician deaths recently. Right. right, and the ones yeah. that you really like connect to as an artist, those are the ones that. What's like I was in like for for about 
two days after Bowie passed away. I was hurts, like so right? flipping depressed. Well, it, it's it really did it hurt. I listen. Yeah. You know, you see all these people. You know, David Bowie passed, mm-hmm. and I I always he was he's one of the artists. I say I always immensely respected oh, his wow. art, yeah. but I just never. Die, you know, took the chance to get into him. No, that's true. Right? Yeah, I get um, that. So when he died, I was like, oh, man. And the thing is, he was still creating, right? So I was like, man, he, who knows what else he could have done. That's what right. saddened me. Right. Then you get all these other people that are like, oh, I'll never be the same. I'm like, you haven't listened to David Bowie since your dad played it when you were seven. Don't right. give me that. Yeah. But if, when uh, Tom Petty passed, a, oh, that, a buddy of don't get me. Right, a buddy of mine, he grew up major, and major loss. went yeah. through. And it's also... Um, What's it, Chester? What with Lincoln Park? With Chester, yeah. a lot of Lincoln, my mm-hmm. a lot of my friends when they were going through their high school angst and depression, mm-hmm. that was what helped. That Hybrid Theory being the main album, that's what helped them cope. And yeah. one friend in particular said, "You know, I was at the point where I was, you know, suicidal, but that album made me realize I wasn't the only one, and that mm-hmm. helped me get through it." So when when that happened, he was devastated, right? But it was more because artists. Those artists, David Bowie, you know, these people affect you on a, an emotional level. You're part of the family now, right? right. I mean, you're, that's not just a guy you like that one song. That was, you got me through a time of my life or, you know. Well, I've and, always said, like, life has a soundtrack. You yeah. Know, when you yeah. always listen to, you know, there are certain artists that you really, really resonate with because they remind you of certain, you know, certain times where you went through a dark, yeah. dark period or like, just wanted to throw your fist in the air yeah. and, and yeah. just like rage against the machine, you know, or whatever, because they're putting something out that's... As much as I hate to do this. Oh, we going? Because this is such a... <laughs> I mean, this is actually... We don't get into a whole lot of deep conversations on come this back, show. Come back sometime in the future, the everybody. That, that and, I have to end it when sure. we're... But when you know what? We don't rolling. have to end it. We can pick up this conversation in, a, in another episode. That's true. That's true. I'll, we I'll that's also back. a segue. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That yeah, We'll have to get a part two out there. But no, I, I really appreciate you Thanks guys for having me out. out. Uh, St. Mary, St. Michael. St. Mary, St. Uh, Michael. Check him out out there. Uh, good stuff. Thank you. Good stuff. I enjoyed it. I'll have to, I'll have to pick up your... Uh, I've got, uh, might have a CD in my car. So. Might have a CD in my car. Okay. I can, that means he's bumping right. Debbie Gibson and putting yeah, yours yeah, in I'm, there I'm into I'm the six-pick I'm pulling changer. Debbie out. Here yeah, you go. <laughs> yes, I'm past you, there you are my new Debbie Gibson. That's... Tyler Carson, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Scott Summit. Great to have you. Uh, definitely, been, it's you been been, it's been been uh, been a, a pleasure. Thanks for giving us. Uh, do, do you have a, Do you have a website or anything? Uh, uh, yeah, you can look me up on IMDb or uh, Scott Summit S U M M I T T two M's two T's dot com. That's my acting. Uh, so you can check out them because I'm going to probably go home and update the, uh, and put a brand new news section saying that I've been on this very podcast. Well, there you go. Yeah, because that, that'll, that'll boost God. you right there. No, it will. I like, I like, <laughs> like, you know, I like people making their own stuff and sing, making their music or doing their radio broadcast. So keep doing what you're doing, guys. The world needs it so badly right now. So keep Absolutely. putting out your stuff. Yeah. Create, right. create, create. Well, with, with that, we're gonna ha- we're gonna have to tune out. But we will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, we will see you guys eventually, yeah, because this has been a lot of fun, and we might be able to pick up a, a good serious discussion about music rather than just <laughs> silly news stories that don't really mean anything. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Life Podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment's Podcast Network. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can always stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. If you have suggestions or comments for the show, feel free to email us at thelife1069 at gmail.com. The band was killer, but it's like, what song is he doing? Oh, like a Rolling Stone. Okay, great. I have a reference point now.